What is going on YouTube? Reverse John Stanek from Johnny Radio here bringing you another top five on this glorious top five Friday. It is the last top five of 2021. We're going into 2022. So what better thing to talk about than my top five most anticipated albums of 2022. This is all based on uh, at least an educated guess of what we know is uh, slated for release. Some of these things actually have release dates at this point. Some of them I'm just hoping really hard that these artists are coming out with stuff, but it's all based on uh, things I've read on the internet. So let's get right to it, guys. At number five, The Red Hot Chili Peppers, and not just any Red Hot Chili Peppers, the Chili Peppers with John Frusciante yet again coming back into the fold as the guitarist, which is always, I mean, the greatest records that they ever made are with this guy on guitar and uh, Rick Rubin at the helm as producer. So uh, you gotta, you know, think it's got to be like Californication or blood sugar sex magic level uh, or at the least you know stadium arcadium uh, which I wasn't that crazy about you know the really the last album that I was truly invested in was Californication but uh, I think it's it's got to be a fun record and you know, you gotta love these guys. Uh, they announced that they're gonna go on a tour in 2022, so surely an album should be imminent to go with that, one would hope. So that is at my number five. Now at number four, Band of Horses. Uh, this five-piece band from South Carolina. If you don't know them by now, uh, go back and listen to an album like Cease to Begin, uh, which is just one of my favorite records of all time. Uh, Why Are You Okay was also great, their last album. This next one is called Things Are Great, kind of a little tongue-in-cheek thing going there, but um, they are consistently just a great band, and uh, I'm really looking forward to this release, which is coming out in January, so be on the lookout. Probably very well could be my album of the month in the next few weeks, so be on the lookout for that. Now at number three, Thrice. Yet another consistent great rock band. This one a pretty much a hard rock band, but uh, one that I, this just hit me out of left field. I didn't realize that they were doing a sequel to last year's or 2021's album, Horizons East, that is gonna be called Horizons West. So I am totally on board for that, because as you know, uh, just last week I did my top five albums of the year and Horizons East was in that list. So uh, yeah, Dustin Kensrew and the guys have not put out a bad album period and it almost seems like they're getting better and better as a band in some ways and I can't wait to see where they go next with this album hopefully in this year. So that is my number three. Now at number two Spoon one of my favorite bands uh, to come out of, actually they've been around since the 90s, but I didn't really get into them until about uh, 2006 or so when I got into the album Gimme Fiction. And then uh, just every album since then has been great. They Want My Soul is so fantastic. Hot Thoughts, uh, so many great albums and so many great songs. And I actually had them on my most anticipated list of 2021, but it didn't quite uh, make the mark they did release a single already, The Hardest Cut, uh, but their new album is now slated for a February release. Uh, Lucifer on the Sofa, I believe is the title of the album, so sounds interesting and maybe a little dark, and hey, I am on board for that. So, can't wait. That's at number two. Now at number one... The Smile. 
Man, I am so excited for this album. And it's not Radiohead, but it's the next best thing. It's Tom York and Johnny Greenwood, the two geniuses from Radiohead, with the drummer from Sons of Kemet having a three-piece band. And they did a whole live set that was streamed earlier this year. I did a video on it with that... Um, to this date, I think is my most viewed video on the channel because so many people were like trying to find information about it. I actually put a link to that live thing in my uh, description. So a lot of people found it from that, uh, thankfully. But yeah, I cannot wait for this album that was produced by Nigel Godrich, of all people. It's going to be fantastic. I just know it. I mean, hopefully if all the songs that were on that live track list plus some more are going to be on there, you can't go wrong, man, because there are some amazing tracks. Tom York playing some bass while singing. Johnny Greenwood doing what he does best on the guitar. It's, uh, it's going to be just think Radiohead, but even more kind of jazzy, but yet also tight. Uh, but then also, uh, I, I just can't wait, man. I'm so psyched for this record. And I know it's going to be one of those things where it's probably going to be a, a surprise release, like the night that it comes out or something with without any warning. So uh, please, everyone involved with The Smile, do that soon because I'm on pins and needles for this thing. So that is my top five, guys. Let me know in the comments below what would your top five most anticipated be? I'd love to see it, uh, and that'll get me on guard for some more cool stuff to look at. We're always discovering and rediscovering great music here at Johnny Radio. So guys, top fives every Friday, album reviews, top 100s, so much more. Happy New Year, and as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.